from fad diets to new exercise trends, we're always looking for new ways to lose some weight. And when we hear about something that helps, we think, well, why don't I just do more of that? Protein is critical for good health, and many high-protein diets claim to help lose weight. So, naturally, an all-protein diet should be great for weight loss, right? Let's find out. This is your body on drinking only protein shakes for one month. Awesome, I love protein. Protein helps build, maintain, and repair our body tissue. High protein foods promote a feeling of fullness, reducing hunger cravings and overeating. And protein shakes help with muscle recovery after a strenuous workout. So what would be the effect of an all protein diet? Would drinking only protein shakes even be good for you? Just answer the damn questions. To be clear, we are not talking about meal replacement drinks. Protein shakes have fewer nutrients and minerals and are used for muscle recovery after a workout. Okay, you've bought enough protein shake powder to last the month and you have various flavors to keep it interesting. Now, what are you going to mix it with? Milk or water? You could change it up for variety. Just remember that milk will add even more protein to your diet. And milk will give you some other nutrients, but you will become thirsty without water. Milk was a bad choice. All right, it's been a few days without any solid food, and you'll be craving something to sink your teeth into. Sure, a, a big juicy hamburger would be nice, but don't forget why you're doing this. After all, you've already lost a pound or two. Now, more than a week has passed, and you've noticed you're not going to the bathroom as often. Well, that's because you're not getting the essential nutrients for digestive health, and you also lack fiber. You might be feeling a little backed up at this point. All this protein, you figured you'd have tons of energy, right? Nope. Without carbohydrates, your body will start to burn fat in a process known as ketosis. This is why the keto diet is so popular for weight loss. But it also comes with some symptoms like headaches, nausea, and difficulty focusing. Drastically cutting carbs can lead to fatigue, weakness, and dizziness, and you'll likely have less energy to be physically active. Okay, more than three weeks in, and things aren't so bad, are they? Well, your breath certainly is. The lack of carbs combined with no solid food has given you really bad breath. You're brushing your teeth way more often. You're irritable, dehydrated, and suffering from headaches and indigestion. Your body is lacking in essential vitamins, minerals, and omega-3 fatty acids that optimize brain health. And let's be honest, that peanut butter energy drink just isn't the same as a delicious peanut butter sandwich. Okay, the high protein, low calorie intake over the last month has led to some weight loss, but that doesn't mean that you're any healthier than you were when you started. Once you start eating normally again, you'll likely gain most of that weight back. And you're now at an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, blood vessel disorders, liver and kidney injuries, seizures, and even death. Beware, protein drinks are unregulated and have some unsafe levels of contaminants like mercury, arsenic, and cadmium. As with anything, moderation is key. Consuming extra protein can make you stronger, but it's better to find healthier sources like beans, lentils, nuts, or meat. These have essential vitamins and minerals that you won't find in any protein shake. So chances are you've lost weight, but the long-term consequences likely outweigh the benefits.
Okay, after this challenge, it's time to treat yourself to a month of eating only chocolate. Yes, finally, we're doing that one. And we're going to do it on another episode of Your Body On. <laughs>